right, so one of the first things I did was rebuild the uh, the T tops. A couple of a couple of things here. Um, so the old gaskets were pretty bad. They they leaked horribly when when I uh, washed the car, and uh, so pulling the old gaskets off is no big deal. Um, one of the things I did is I've got a buffing wheel and I went ahead and buffed all the chrome out uh, while I had everything apart. And after I got the, uh, uh, well, let me show you over here. So I haven't put this one back together yet. So one of the things I did is went ahead and put the hush mat down. I used kill mat, um, but just I think any of these work well to deaden the, the sound and the tinniness. Um, you don't really have any room under the headliner to, uh, to put more under here. Um, so I think this is about as good as it's going to get. One of the other things I had to do was level the T-tops. The um, so they, you do get shims, and they do have shims. In fact, you can order shims from Eckler's or whatever. I went ahead and made some of my own. And actually, on that T-top right there, some of the fiberglass is crushed. Uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe somebody got on it and crushed the fiberglass. So a repair was done a long time ago. And uh, to fix that, um, I, I went ahead and, and made some additional shims. I found that once I did that and with the new gaskets that I put in, that uh, I had to do that all the way around, uh, at least on this side. So um, the other thing I did was paint the inside of the T-tops, uh, cleaned everything, oh my gosh, just cleaned everything and then I painted everything black, put the new, new gaskets back on. Uh, one thing when you're putting these gaskets on, there's, there's plastic pins in here. Press the heck out of those pins. You can feel them sort of pop in, but you really have to give it a lot of a lot of muscle. You stretch the gasket and put it in there. Um, here is the adhesive that I used, 3M uh, Super Gasket and Weather Strip Adhesive, uh, and I used the black. I think the original originally it was kind of a yellow uh, that the factory would have used, but I like the black look. It cleans it up a little better. It's a little bit of a little challenging, um, but not not it's doable. Anybody who has a putty knife can basically do it. Anyway, so now they're level and we'll go up there. Uh, I've got a few other things I've got to do up here. I need to polish this out. This thing is scratched up here pretty bad. This is all stainless steel, um, but I'll get that all polished out at some point. Well, the other thing, clean. I took these into the kitchen sink, uh, took dish soap and a, and a mild scrub brush and just clean the heck out of them. Um, they're fiber, you don't want to get them wet, uh, but on this side, you know, you can you can scrub them and clean them up, and they actually changed color. I intend to do the rest of the interior. Getting these back together is also no big deal. You'll notice there's there's a Velcro. It's not Velcro Velcro, but it's that the same sort of deal. You just make sure you get the the top centered on here, and they'll pop in with a loud pop. And that's all there is.